The most dominant feature of the new Parrot and Naffy is the ability to look up. In this video, I've done my own DIY version of the Naffy, where I've strapped a GoPro on the top of my Mavic Air looking up. And you might be thinking, this is an obvious thing to do while we wait for the Naffy. But before we get to that, let's roll that intro. If you're new around here and want to improve your video skills, learn about e-wheels, then consider subscribing to my tips, tests and tutorials. The approach is pretty simple. It's to take a GoPro Hero 5, strap it on the back of a, a Mavic Air using some of these adhesive pads that I frequently use uh, with my own DIY projects. These are pretty sticky and they have a soft uh, foam core that will help absorb some of the vibrations. I doubled the amount of pads to make sure that the props cleared the camera. I decided to use the protective frame uh, to protect the GoPro, just in case. Before we mount the GoPro, we want to make sure that the Wi-Fi and GPS in the GoPro camera has been disabled for it not to interfere with the Mavic Air. Let's get it mounted. Aligning the long side of the GoPro with the, the body of the Mavic Air uh, seemed a little bit tight to me, so I decided to turn it 90 degrees as this gave better clearance for the props. Now the GoPro has been mounted and we are ready for first flight. It will be interesting to see how well the Mavic Air handles with the additional weight from the GoPro camera. I must say I was pretty uh, pleasantly surprised that it handles pretty well with the additional weight from the camera. Let's look at some test footage from the GoPro. Flying close to the ground with this new setup uh, did give some challenges, especially uh, caused by the ground effect and uh, the obstacle avoidance. I would clearly recommend to disabling the obstacle avoidance and also switch it into tripod flight mode uh, to limit the, the movement. This test footage was recorded in my backyard and would probably have looked a lot better if there has been uh, more room for maneuvering. But it was a fun experiment and you'll probably get a feeling for what you can use this new camera angle for and what not to use it for. But it goes without saying that this uh, footage in the way that I did it here will never be up to par with something that is uh, generated by a gimbal assisted camera pointing upwards. If you're into the real thing, uh, the Paradigm Affy, then you should watch the video I made with 10 reasons to buy it. You can access this video by this card. Or this. I can't really remember what side it is. But I said this was a fun project to pull off on a Sunday afternoon. And yes, it's a bit uh, of a different video than uh, what I normally do for you guys. Hope you like this video, then uh, give it a like, because this helps me understand if you want more of this kind of content. And also, if you're new around here, then consider subscribing for my uh, weekly tips, tests and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.